If I had a time machine and I can go back in time, what would I tell myself? Spend more time with my family? Buy more Bitcoin? No, of course not. Instead, I'd tell myself these five things that I wish I knew before becoming a data scientist. Obviously. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name's Leon. I'm a data scientist based in the UK. Here are the timestamps and in this video, I'm gonna go over five things that I wish I knew before becoming a data scientist. Let's get right into it. So the first one is learning to code earlier. More specifically, I wish I'd learned how to use Python way before I started university. In general, coding is a very useful skill to have, but for data science, you need code to be able to put theories and models into practice. If you're a data scientist, it's not just enough knowing how to code nowadays, you also need to know how to code more like a software developer. So I used to think if I could use Jupyter Notebook and I can write some functions in the script, then I'd be good to go, which to a certain extent, yes it is, but if you want to automate, test and deploy stuff, then you need to think more like a software developer. In fact, I think that's why things like MLOps have really taken off in the recent years, because people have realized we need to combine DevOps practices with machine learning so that we can have an infrastructure that can scale properly. It's not just enough training the model and running the code on your local machine, because that has some serious limitations. I already have a video on how I would learn Python again for data science, which I'll link up here. But basically, I think everybody should learn how to use Python as soon as possible or any other coding language. I think in general, coding is just a very valuable skill to have. You have to like statistics, and if you don't, you need to learn how to like it. Statistics is one of those subjects where most people know in the back of their minds it's an important subject to learn, but it's very difficult to actually put in the effort and learn it because let's be honest, it's just not a very sexy subject. I'm guilty of this because I spent a lot of years learning maths and statistics and only realized how important it was once I started applying it in the real world to solve real problems rather than just using like theoretical stats for coursework. Now stats at a high level is about using data to make informed decisions and since data science is about making impact using data then you need stats to be able to do that. When you learn stats you learn that humans are very prone to biases and biases lead to wrong decisions which could be detrimental for your business. So if you don't know statistics in my opinion I think you could be making a lot of wrong decisions. I think the earlier you learn to like stats and accept it for what it is the better data scientist you'll be in general because statistics is just the foundation for most things. Don't overhype machine learning. So I originally got interested in data science because of machine learning, but machine learning isn't anything special if you break it down mathematically. By the way, if you're wondering why the color of my t-shirt changed is because I forgot to record this part and I only realized after I started editing this video. So yeah, whatever. I think the real difference between machine learning and statistics is that machine learning is more focused on the algorithm. Whereas if you really want to understand how the algorithm works, then you need statistics and sometimes linear algebra. In my opinion, there's two sides to machine learning. There's the engineering side, which is about getting the model into production. And then there's the modeling side where data scientists are making sure that the model makes sense and then it answers the business questions. If you're a data scientist, you'll most likely work on the modeling side of things. So it goes back to my previous point. You need to get good at statistics and in some cases, linear algebra. If I could go back in time, I would focus more on the core stats of the algorithms rather than the different ways of implementing implementing them because I'm trying to be a data scientist, I'm not trying to be a machine learning engineer. So I'm a bit of a nerd, I like to dive into the details of what I'm doing, but it took me a while to realize that most people just don't care about the details. And I think the reason why it took me so long to realize this is because in academia, you're always told to show the details of your work. Unfortunately, if you're a data scientist, you're not going to be judged by how technical your work is you're going to be judged by how much impact you can provide to the business. However, that's not to say that technical details don't matter. It just means that we should focus on value first and then technical details later. I think most of the time it feels more like you're trying to sell a product. You're trying to show the value that your product can provide. And then once people are hooked, then they can read these specifications later. Nowadays, I try to focus on the value first and I'll try and memorize the technical details or have some notes on the side so that if people do want to talk about it, I can do so later. I never assume from the beginning that people are interested. The next thing I wish I'd known earlier is version controlling your projects with proper documentation. So when I was in university, version controlling wasn't really a thing because people just wanted to finish their work as quick as possible, submit it, and then never think about it again. When I was a student, I did actually use Git for some of my projects, but I didn't use it in the way it was supposed to be used. I would just use it to upload my finished projects into something like GitHub and then never touch it again. But that's not version controlling. Version controlling is keeping track of the changes that you make as you work on the project, not at the end of the project when you've already done everything. You need version controlling if you're working as a team or if you're doing something that requires continuous integration and deployment, because if something goes wrong in those situations, the consequences are usually a lot more serious. And then the other thing is proper documentation. If you want to share your projects, then this is especially important. Without any proper documentation, people are just not going to understand what your work is about and they're not going to use it. 
If you look at any big project on GitHub, for example, there's going to be at least some documentation in there. By writing the documentation, it forces you to think more about the end user and how they're going to use your project. So in my opinion, there's no real reason not to do it. Speaking of projects, I have a video up here on the five types of data science projects that I think you should do if you're a beginner. I also have a video up here on how you should structure your data science projects. Let me know in the comments down below what you wish you knew earlier. You can also follow me on Instagram. And if you want to see more content like this, please like and subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one.